it's Pastor Christy here coming to you from my messed up kitchen. It doesn't really look like a kitchen, does it? Doesn't it? It um all the cabinets are gone and the tile is pulled out. Uh, and that's because we are redoing our kitchen. Uh, it's getting kind of old and it was just time to do something fresh. Well, I want to talk to you uh, today about part of our worship service because you've been participating in worship with your parents on the TV screen. You've been sitting there hopefully and watching the service and you'll notice that there's a moment when we uh, confess our sins. There's this part where we call it the confession and we say together um, all the ways in which or many of the ways in which we have failed God or failed ourselves, failed others uh, that this week. Well, my kitchen, it's a work in progress, right? Someday it's going to be really beautiful. It's going to be finished. But right now, it's not there yet. And that's what we're acknowledging about ourselves when we confess our sins at church. Is we're saying, hey, I'm not finished yet. There's some things about me that need to be better. And God is working on me, uh, but I'm not there yet. So um, when you confess, you say, hey, maybe this week I said something mean or I told a lie or maybe I borrowed something without asking one of those things, uh, whatever it is, whatever, or even just I've got a lot of anger in my heart. You confess to God and it's your way of saying, it's all of our ways of saying, God, I'm just not there yet, but you know what? You're getting me there. Someday I'm going to be beautiful, but right now I'm not quite there yet. That's why we do that. And in fact, we leave a little moment in the confession for silent personal confession so we can just tell God just exactly uh, those ways in which we have uh, failed to be exactly what God wanted us to be. And there's actually a lot of hope in that. Because we believe that God is going to make something beautiful of us uh, someday. And that slowly and gradually, God is making us better people. Um, you know, King David, he was glorious and amazing. He was an amazing warrior. He was a musician. He was the king. He was all these things. And you would have thought that he just thought he was the best thing in the world. But you know, one of the one of the greatest things about him was in fact that he was humble and that he knew he was like this kitchen too. He was a work in progress. He was unfinished. He was imperfect. And so because he had such a great relationship with God, he was humble and he was able to say, look, I sin too and I make mistakes. So in the Bible, in Psalm 51, um, he confesses his sin as well. Uh, King David says, have mercy on me, God, according to your faithful love. Wipe away my wrongdoings according to your great compassion. Wash me completely clean of my guilt. Purify me from my sin. Because I know my wrongdoings, my sin is always right in front of me. So, I hope that everybody, as you watch Church with your parents, notice the confession and maybe you can say a little prayer too, saying, hey God, I'm a work in progress. I'm not done yet. And I pray that you will make me better. Cleanse my heart of all that's wrong with it and make it new and fresh. Make me the way you want me to be. Thanks guys. I'll see you next week.